The Miocene is the first geological epoch of the Neogene period and extends from about 23.03 to 5.333 million years ago The Miocene was named by Charles Lyell, its name comes from the Greek words mean less, and kainos, kainos new, and means less recent. Because it has 18% fewer modern sea invertebrates than the Pliocene. The Miocene is preceded by the Oligocene and is followed by the Pliocene. As the Earth went from the Oligocene through the Miocene and into the Pliocene, the climate slowly cooled towards a series of ice ages. The Miocene boundaries are not marked by a single distinct global event but consist rather of regionally defined boundaries between the warmer Oligocene and the cooler Pliocene epoch. The apes first evolved, arose, and diversified during the early Miocene Aquitanian and Berdigalian stages, becoming widespread in the Old World. By the end of this epoch and the start of the following one, the ancestors of humans had split away from the ancestors of the chimpanzees to follow their own evolutionary path during the final Messinian stage of the Miocene. As in the Oligocene before it, grasslands continued to expand and forests to dwindle in extent. In the seas of the Miocene, kelp forests made their first appearance and soon became one of Earth's most productive ecosystems. The plants and animals of the Miocene were recognizably modern. Mammals and birds were well established. Whales, pinnipeds, and kelp spread. The Miocene is of particular interest to geologists and paleoclimatologists as major phases of the geology of the Himalaya occurred during the Miocene, affecting monsoonal patterns in Asia, which were interlinked with glacial periods in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> Subdivisions The Miocene faunal stages from youngest to oldest are typically named according to the International Commission on Stratigraphy. Regionally, other systems are used, based on characteristic land mammals, some of them overlap with the preceding Oligocene and following Pliocene epochs. European land mammal ages Turrilian 9.0 to 5.3 Ma. Valesian 11.6 to 9.0 Ma Asturation 16.0 to 11.6 Ma Orlinian 20.0 to 16.0 Ma Aegean 23.8 to 20.0 Ma North American land mammal ages Hemphillian 10.3 to 4.9 Ma Clarendonian 13.6 to 10.3 Ma Barstovian 16.3 to 13.6 Ma Hemingfordian 20.6 to 16.3 Ma Arachrian 30.6 to 20.6 Ma South American land mammal ages Montehomosan 6.8 to 4.0 Ma Huaquarian 9.0 to 6.8 Ma Mayoan 11.8 to 9.0 Ma Lavantan 13.8 to 11.8 Ma Collincuran 15.5 to 13.8 Ma Friasian 16.3 to 15.5 Ma Santa Crucian 17.5 to 16.3 Ma Colhuahuapian 21.0 to 17.5 Ma Topic Paleogeography Continents continued to drift toward their present positions 
Of the modern geologic features, only the land bridge between South America and North America was absent, although South America was approaching the western subduction zone in the Pacific Ocean, causing both the rise of the Andes and a southward extension of the Mesoamerican Peninsula. Mountain building took place in western North America, Europe, and East Asia. Both continental and marine Miocene deposits are common worldwide with marine outcrops common near modern shorelines. Well-studied continental exposures occur in the North American Great Plains and in Argentina. India continued to collide with Asia, creating dramatic new mountain ranges. The Tethys Seaway continued to shrink and then disappeared as Africa collided with Eurasia in the Turkish Arabian region between 19 and 12 Ma. The subsequent uplift of mountains in the western Mediterranean region and a global fall in sea levels combined to cause a temporary drying up of the Mediterranean Sea known as the Messinian Salinity Crisis near the end of the Miocene. The global trend was towards increasing aridity caused primarily by global cooling reducing the ability of the atmosphere to absorb moisture. Uplift of East Africa in the late Miocene was partly responsible for the shrinking of tropical rain forests in that region, and Australia got drier as it entered a zone of low rainfall in the late Miocene. South America During the Oligocene and early Miocene the coast of northern Brazil, Colombia, south-central Peru, central Chile and large swathes of inland Patagonia were subject to a marine transgression. The transgressions in the west coast of South America is thought to be caused by a regional phenomenon while the steadily rising central segment of the Andes represents an exception. While there are numerous registers of oligomyosine transgressions around the world it is doubtful that these correlate, it is thought that the oligomyosine transgression in Patagonia could have temporarily linked the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, as inferred from the findings of marine invertebrate fossils of both Atlantic and Pacific affinity in La Cascada Formation. Connection would have occurred through narrow epicontinental seaways that formed channels in a dissected topography. The Antarctic plate started to subduct beneath South America 14 million years ago in the Miocene, forming the Chile Triple Junction. At first the Antarctic plate subducted only in the southernmost tip of Patagonia, meaning that the Chile Triple Junction lay near the Strait of Magellan. As the southern part of Nazca Plate and the Chile Rise became consumed by subduction the more northerly regions of the Antarctic Plate began to subduct beneath Patagonia so that the Chile Triple Junction advanced to the north over time. The asthenospheric window associated to the triple junction disturbed previous patterns of mantle convection beneath Patagonia inducing an uplift of ca. 1 km that reversed the Oligocene-Miocene transgression. <laughs> Climate Climates remained moderately warm, although the slow global cooling that eventually led to the Pleistocene glaciations continued. Although a long-term cooling trend was well underway, there is evidence of a warm period during the Miocene when the global climate rivaled that of the Oligocene. The Miocene warming began 21 million years ago and continued until 14 million years ago, when global temperatures took a sharp drop. The Middle Miocene Climate Transition MMCT. By 8 million years ago, temperatures dropped sharply once again, and the Antarctic ice sheet was already approaching its present-day size and thickness. Greenland may have begun to have large glaciers as early as 7 to 8 million years ago, although the climate for the most part remained warm enough to support forests there well into the Pliocene. Life 
Life during the Miocene epoch was mostly supported by the two newly formed biomes, kelp forests and grasslands. Grasslands allow for more grazers, such as horses, rhinoceroses, and hippos. 95% of modern plants existed by the end of this epoch. Flora The covolution of gritty, fibrous, fire-tolerant grasses and long-legged gregarious ungulates with high-crowned teeth, led to a major expansion of grass grazer ecosystems, with roaming herds of large, swift grazers pursued by predators across broad sweeps of open grasslands, displacing desert, woodland, and browsers. The higher organic content and water retention of the deeper and richer grassland soils, with long-term burial of carbon in sediments, produced a carbon and water vapor sink. This, combined with higher surface albedo and lower evapotranspiration of grassland, contributed to a cooler, drier climate. C4 grasses, which are able to assimilate carbon dioxide and water more efficiently than C3 grasses, expanded to become ecologically significant near the end of the Miocene between 6 and 7 million years ago. The expansion of grasslands and radiations among terrestrial herbivores correlates to fluctuations in CO2. Cycads between 11.5 and 5 million years ago began to rediversify after previous declines in variety due to climatic changes, and thus modern cycads are not a good model for a living fossil. Eucalyptus fossil leaves occur in the Miocene of New Zealand, where the genus is not native today, but have been introduced from Australia. Fauna <laughs> 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 Both marine and continental fauna were fairly modern, although marine mammals were less numerous. Only in isolated South America and Australia did widely divergent fauna exist. In the early Miocene, several Oligocene groups were still diverse, including nimravids, entelodonts, and three-toed equids. Like in the previous Oligocene epoch, oreodonts were still diverse, only to disappear in the earliest Pliocene. During the later Miocene mammals were more modern, with easily recognizable canids, bears, procyonids, equids, beavers, deer, camelids, and whales, along with now extinct groups like barophagene canids, certain gompothers, three-toed horses, and semi-aquatic and hornless rhinos like Teleoceros and Ophelops. Islands began to form between South and North America in the late Miocene, allowing ground sloths like thinnerbadists to island hop to North America. The expansion of silica-rich C4 grasses led to worldwide extinctions of herbivorous species without high-crowned teeth. A few basal mammal groups endured into this epoch in southern landmasses, including the South American Dryolestoid Necrolestes and Gondwanotherae Patagonia and New Zealand's St. Bathans mammal. Non-marsupial metatherians were also still around, such as the American and Eurasian Herpetotheriids and Peridectids such as Ciarmoprodectes, and the South American Sparacidonts. Unequivocally recognizable dabbling ducks, plovers, typical owls, cockatoos and crows appeared during the Miocene. By the epoch's end, all or almost all modern bird groups are believed to have been present. The few post-Miocene bird fossils which cannot be placed in the evolutionary tree with full confidence are simply too badly preserved, rather than too equivocal in character. Marine birds reached their highest diversity ever in the course of this epoch. Approximately 100 species of apes lived during this time, ranging throughout Africa, Asia and Europe and varying widely in size, diet, and anatomy. Due to scanty fossil evidence it is unclear which ape or apes contributed to the modern hominid clade, but molecular evidence indicates this ape lived between 7 and 8 million years ago. 
The first harmonins bipedal apes of the human lineage appeared in Africa at the very end of the Miocene, including Sahelanthropus, Ororan, and an early form of Ardiphythicus a. Cadaba. The chimpanzee human divergence is thought to have occurred at this time. The expansion of grasslands in North America also led to an explosive radiation among snakes. Previously, snakes were a minor component of the North American fauna, but during the Miocene, the number of species and their prevalence increased dramatically with the first appearances of vipers and elapids in North America and the significant diversification of colubridae including the origin of many modern genera such as Nerodia, Lampropeltis, Pituophis and Pantherophis. In the oceans, brown algae, called kelp, proliferated, supporting new species of sea life, including otters, fish and various invertebrates. Cetaceans attained their greatest diversity during the Miocene, with over 20 recognized genera in comparison to only six living genera. This diversification correlates with emergence of gigantic macro predators such as megatoothed sharks and raptorial sperm whales. Prominent examples are C. megalodon and L. melvillae. Other notable large sharks were C. chubutensis, Asurus hastalis, and Hemipriestus serra. Crocodilians also showed signs of diversification during Miocene. The largest form among them was a gigantic caiman Purusaurus which inhabited South America. Another gigantic form was a false gharial Ramphosuchus, which inhabited modern age India. A strange form, Morosuchus also thrived alongside Purusaurus. This species developed a specialized filter feeding mechanism, and it likely preyed upon small fauna despite its gigantic size. The pinnipeds, which appeared near the end of the Oligocene, became more aquatic. Prominent genus was Allodesmus. A ferocious walrus, Pelagiarctos may have preyed upon other species of pinnipeds including Allodesmus. Furthermore, South American waters witnessed the arrival of Megapirana paranensis, which were considerably larger than modern age piranhas. New Zealand's Miocene fossil record is particularly rich. Marine deposits showcase a variety of cetaceans and penguins, illustrating the evolution of both groups into modern representatives. The early Miocene St. Bathans fauna is the only Cenozoic terrestrial fossil record of the landmass, showcasing a wide variety of not only bird species, including early representatives of clades such as moas, kiwis and adzebils, but also a diverse herpetofauna of sphenodontians, crocodiles and turtle as well as a rich terrestrial mammal fauna composed of various species of bats and the enigmatic St. Bathans mammal. Topic. Oceans There is evidence from oxygen isotopes at deep sea drilling program sites that ice began to build up in Antarctica about 36 Ma during the Eocene. Further marked decreases in temperature during the Middle Miocene at 15 Ma probably reflect increased ice growth in Antarctica. It can therefore be assumed that East Antarctica had some glaciers during the early to mid Miocene 23 to 15 Ma. Oceans cooled partly due to the formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, and about 15 million years ago the ice cap in the Southern Hemisphere started to grow to its present form. The Greenland ice cap developed later, in the Middle Pliocene time, about 3 million years ago. Topic. Middle Miocene disruption The «Middle Miocene disruption» refers to a wave of extinctions of terrestrial and aquatic life forms that occurred following the Miocene climatic optimum 18 to 16 Ma, around 14.8 to 14.5 million years ago, during the Langean stage of the mid-Miocene. 
a major and permanent cooling step occurred between 14.8 and 14.1 Ma, associated with increased production of cold Antarctic deep waters and a major growth of the East Antarctic ice sheet. A middle Miocene delta 18 O increase, that is, a relative increase in the heavier isotope of oxygen, has been noted in the Pacific, the Southern Ocean and the South Atlantic. Topic: Impact event. A large impact event occurred either during the Miocene (23 Ma 5.3 Ma) or the Pliocene (5.3 Ma 2.6 Ma). The event formed the Caracal Crater, 52 kilometers diameter, which is estimated to have an age of less than 23 Ma or less than 5 Ma. Topic. See also Asteration Turrilian Valesian Geologic time scale List of fossil sites Category – Miocene animals <laughs>